Thank you all. Um, my name is Vijay Kartagesu. I'm the founder and CEO of Swamio Media. Swamio is a technology company focusing on gaming and esports. And we deliver a platform solution for telecom operators in the world to monetize the gamers. So if you look at gaming, you probably had a couple of other uh, presentations here. Gaming is the largest entertainment industry in the world with more than 200 billion revenue. And there are 3 billion gamers playing games today. These 3 billion gamers are a customer of an existing telecom operator, whether they have to have an internet connection or they have to have a mobile phone to play these games. These telecom operators are missing out on the opportunity to monetize these gamer base. So what we are providing an amazing platform for the telecom operators to reach and monetize their existing gamer base. That's what our business model. Our solution is called Ember. Ember is a gamer lifestyle solution. So let me explain what is gaming as a gaming lifestyle. Gaming used to be a hobby a long time ago. People just play for games, uh, you know, play games for hobby. But now gaming is no longer a hobby. It is a lifestyle. I have three kids. They come from school, they put their headset on, they go into Discord and hang around with their friends. They laugh and they have fun. They share things. They play games together. They watch items. This is their life now. Gaming is the new social media for these kids. So it is no longer a hobby. It is mainstream. It is the new social media. In order to capture these gamers, we have to have everything the gamers do. What do they do? They play games, they have fun, they share things with, the, uh, with their friends and, and family, and they buy items, they watch things, because one of my kids actually watch other people playing games more than he plays. So in order to capture this gamer generation, you have to have all these different aspects in the platform. That's why in Ember platform, we built multiple different modules. The first one is a gamers hub. What it is, it is a community hub. So if you think about in a village or town, you have a community center. In the community center, this is where people go there and play soccer or play hockey or basketball, hang around with their friends and family. That's the whole community aspect that we are bringing to a digital platform for the gamers. So this is a platform as a gamer community that offered by the telecom operators for the gamers to come and have fun and hang around, play some competition, play with their friends and share items and talk to their friends. So this is the community that attracts all the gamers to join. When they join the platform, they earn points. So we are gamified their activities in the platform. So whether they play a competition, they play share something or they are watching something in the platform, we gamify it with some tokens and points. So what do they do with the tokens and the points they earn in the community? They go to the store. A gaming store is already integrated in the platform. The important thing about the gaming store, there are, I said it's more than $200 billion market. 70% of the gaming market is made by selling gaming items, whether they are in-game items or they are gaming related items. That's how the 70% of the 200 billion is made. So in order to really monetize the gamer generation, you have to have a store that is integrated with the platform. And we have partnership with the game publishers like Riot and all the other big game publishers to bring their gaming items into the store so we can actually sell them to the gamers. So they can earn the points and buy the or redeem these items in the store, or they can click buy and buy the item directly. That's when our Swamio or Ember Pay comes in, our FinTech technology that's integrated. The important thing about our FinTech solution, which is integrated, it has credit card. So if you have a credit card that you can actually pay with it. 
But we are going after a region, Asia, Africa, Middle East, and Latin America, where the credit card penetration is very low. What they use in these regions is mobile payments. So if you are uh, in Asia, people go to a corner store and top up the mobile and they pay with the mobile phone, or they will use an e-wallet system to pay. So our payment solution not only integrate with credit card, it also integrate directly with the telecom operator and their payment channels like direct carrier billing or e-wallet system. So the people, even without the credit cards, can buy the gaming items in these countries. All of these things, the community hub, the store, and the payment solution, all of them runs in our patented cloud solution is called Ember Edge, which is offers a low latency experience for the gaming community. This is our patented technology. This is the secret source that all these gamers, when they access these items and play games in our platform, they get very low latency connectivity, which is very important for the gamers. So all of them together provide an amazing opportunity for the telecom operators to offer a solution to their gamer base and also the gamers to have the best experience with the telecom operator, with our platform. Our business model is very simple. We bring our Ember platform and give it to the telecom operator. Our Ember platform has the hub, the store, the pay, and the edge. Give it to the telecom operator. What the telecom operators bring into the table, they have the brand power. Every telco, sometimes people like, you know, there's a love-hate relationship with the telecom operator, but when you see Bell or Rogers, or if you are in Philippines, you see Globe, or if you are in Vodafone or at and any of the telco brand, when you see them, there are two things is very really important. You, they bring trust because you trust. This is a brand, it's a trustable brand, they're big. So they're bringing the brand power Trust and integrity. Those are the two main things a telecom operator bring in. Not only that, they also have these 3 billion gamers as their customers. So the user acquisition is very simple. Telecom operators can send an SMS saying that respond one to sign up, you sign up. So the user acquisition cost for telecom operators are very low. And they bring also the infrastructure. They have the network, the 5G, the cloud, everything. They have the payment integration and the marketing reach. When Telco announced these things in different countries, you can see there are big announcements, billboards, and they have these stores, they can put everything. So Telco have this reach, they can announce and market the product very nicely, and they can bundle our platform, our solution with their offering. So when you buy, a mobile service, they can say, hey, pay $3 extra to get a gaming bundle. But when you buy the internet from them, you can say, hey, just pay three or $5 more to get a gaming bundle. So it's easier for telecom operators to bundle and monetize. So the customers pay three to $5 a month to access all these services to the telecom operator. What we get, we get a percentage from it, a big percentage. We get up to 80% of the three to $5 to us because we deliver a full turnkey solution for the telecom operator. So our deals are sometimes 80% to 50%. Some telcos we get 80%, some telecom operators we get 50%. That's a very simple business model. Not only this, we also have multiple other revenue streams. So other than the membership they pay three to five dollars. We also have our storefront. Every item we sell in our store, we take a percentage of, of that as well. And, and the payment processing. So we have this, this amazing FinTech module that we are offering that to game publishers. So uh, whether they can integrate, it's like PayPal. You know, sometimes you go and say click buy in a game publisher, it will say pay with PayPal. With ours, it will say pay with Swamio. So we have an additional FinTech module. And there are future modules. Since we have all of these gamers in our platform with our cloud solution, 
with our store, with our fintech, now we can expand this and monetize this gamma base by adding other future solutions in the, uh, in the future. We are going after a very large population with enormous growth opportunity. And we have a very strong pipeline. So according to our pipeline, we expect to sign telecom operators. We haven't announced any of them yet. So please watch out for announcements coming in the, in the near future. But we expect to sign up to quarter billion telco user base that we can monetize. So in our, our sales pipeline is very strong. So before end of this year, we will have telecom operators who's with more than quarter billion user base that we can monetize. We are focusing on the regions. There are 3 billion gamers. More than 2 billion gamers live in Asia, Africa, Middle East, and Latin. These are the regions we are focusing. The other reason we are focusing in these regions, these regions have more than 70% of the population is younger generation compared to North America, where only 40, 46% is younger generation. So huge younger generation, huge opportunity, more than two thirds of the gamers live in this region with a strong pipeline. This is, this is what we are doing. And you should watch out uh, for news and announcements. Uh, there are exciting things coming. Um, I can disclose everything today, but this is what we are busy working. Thank you. Any questions? Got a couple of questions here, uh, Vijay here. The first one from Harpreet is that uh, why it's, uh, maybe you can explain a bit, why is telcos, why are telcos willing to partner with Swarmio? Any other verticals you can think of that Swarmio can partner with? Sure, uh, very simple. Uh, telecom operators, if you think about it, they used to be the king. They lost music to Spotify. They lost movies to Netflix. They lost even the conferencing to Zoom and Microsoft and Google. So they are becoming a utility. And in order for them to add additional revenue, they need something new. And they are having a hard time reaching out to these digital natives and millennial generation. So which they are their customers already, but they just don't know how to reach out to them. So what we are doing, we are providing this opportunity for them to, they haven't lost gaming yet. So this is an opportunity for them and also opportunity for us because easy user acquisition, any product like ours, user acquisition is tough. So with partnering with telecom operators, like that, we can get millions of users. That is the beauty. So it's a win-win scenario. Great. Uh, the second question coming from Melina. Is there a lot of uh, competition in the eSport platform space? So uh, this is where that I want to kind of differentiate. There are eSports where professional players play, like you probably heard from Overactive or EGLX. They're, they're more focused on the eSports professional, professional scene where we are focusing on the community level. That's why I kind of talked about community center. We are going up to the 99% of the gamers. We are the masses. So we are not focusing on pure esports. We are fo focusing on overall gaming and providing a community sense and also enabling them to have access to better gaming, better gaming experience, better items in the game. So it's more about going after the masses than Esports is just a small piece of our overall offering. Sure. One last question here from Weave. So, uh, what will be the main factors going to drive the success of Swarmio? Is that the ability to drive gamers to your platforms or others? Two things. Uh, main factors is getting telecom operators sign up with us. Number one. So, because it's very really tough to get telecom operators to sign up with anyone, right? They, so this, this is where our uh, advantage, because I am myself, I didn't tell my background. Uh, I have my hands on the Canadian internet built out. I built Show Cable Backbone, I built Rogers Cable, I built uh, Group Telecom, which is now Bell Canada's backbone. So my company, we are, we are telco background 
with gaining expertise. So we have this unique advantage going to the telecom operators and have them sign. So first success is for us to get the telcos, then we will get the gamers because we know we can get the gamers because, because we have done the testing and, it's, and, and we know how to go after the gamers and because the regions we are going after, there's no such thing our, as our platform exists there, especially the low latency gaming is so important. So we have put together everything. So our success story lies on first getting the telcos. Once we get the telcos, then we will get the gamers. Once we get the gamers, we can monetize them. Great. Uh, thank you, Vijay, for your time here with us today. Thank you very much, Gilbert. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>